Hiya, it's Ali here for Pearly Winks. I'm going to do a quick demo today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I put a little sneaky, bit of a sneaky peek on um, the Pearly Winks group the other day. Um, and it was just to do a background to create a lovely card. Um, and it's simply a spray and swipe technique. So what I've done is I've cut some uh, watercolour card. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you the technique and then I'll show you a card um, that I've prepared that we can put together together. Okay, so today I'm going to be using sky blue, pumpkin orange and lemon. And don't forget with the yellow, you've got the mica at the bottom. So I just need to activate that mica. Don't forget that we don't shake up and down. We swirl it around and around or side to side. And that just gets the mica activating into the spray. So there it is, all gone into the spray. So I'm gonna spray Usually I only do it once, but um, it's quite a biggish piece of watercolour. I just swipe it through. Literally, that's why it's called spray and wipe. Okay, and then I'm just going to dry that off. So bear with me a quick tick. The reason that I dry it off is <clears throat> only because um, if you have a lot of wet ink um, and you're putting it on top, you're layering, you're better off drying your layers in between um, because otherwise it can get muddy and create uh, brown colours. So just dry this bit off. Okay, so then I'll go for my next colour, which is the pumpkin orange, and then again, swipe it through, swipe it through. Sometimes I'll spray a bit of water on top um, to extend it. If I want a really pastel effect, I'll tend then to put the water on, um, and it'll give me a more subtle um, effect. So just bear with me a second. And then finally, I'm going to put the blue down and then I will spray that with a little bit of water because that's quite an intensive blue. So just like that, mixing with the water a bit there and then I'm going to swipe that through. So just swipe, swipe and then to finish off, just pop it over and then dry it off, just bear with me. Okay, so that's created a background that you can then colour on, um, stamp on and do whatever you want on to um, create a card or a project. So these are what I've done over the last couple of days. As you can see with this one, I did mix with water and that's how it gives you the subtlety uh, as opposed to. And then of course you can always put on your uh, glimmer drops, glitter. Um, spray that on you get a nice uh, glittery effect as well um, the other thing with these I like doing these because they can create uh, mini master boards um, and that's something I'm going to talk about in another video perhaps in a week or so um, I'm going to create uh, a couple of art master boards um, and all they are literally is, is creating background on a large a piece of card, watercolour paper, artboard, which, whatever it is that you, you want to create it on. Um, and then you can cut it up 
um, for different projects. It's another really, really good technique that I like for stamping and, and getting all your bits and pieces out uh, and playing. So, when I did this myself yesterday, I prepared a card. I've done, um, I prepared a nice similar um, background. I've done a black map for it on a card and prior to um, doing the video obviously because I don't want you sitting here waiting for ages for me doing things um, I stamped out a stamp and it's the That's Crafty Grunge Flowers Stamp Set 2 absolutely love these stamps they're fantastic so moving on quickly because I said it was going to be a quick tutorial what I've done is or what I'm going to do should I say is stamp a few bits in the background to prepare the card so I'm using my Eureka which is a fantastic stamping platform and um, really helpful to me because I do struggle um, stamping because I have arthritis in my hands so if you can get your hands on one of these they are in my opinion the best stamping platforms now then so I'm going to use Versafine Claire and I'm using Morning Mist and I'm going to stamp out the flowers just just a light fingertip touch on the top you don't have don't squash it or squish it because if you do that you're actually squeezing the polymer stamp in an awkward position sometimes it can slip and give you a kind of a ghosting effect which you're just going to have to start again so you know um that's all you need and there really is that's all there is to it so I've stamped that in the first instance but I am going to just do a little bit more I'm just trying to find the stamp set a little bit more behind it I've got a lovely um, swirl that's this stamp that comes with the stamp set I'm just going to use my finger as my stamping um, pad if you like and I'm just going to go in just lightly I'm not even pressing down at all really so that's given a sort of a framing effect if you like okay and then what I'll do is bring in the flowers I did double print uh, double stamp sorry and I've coloured in and got as close to the colours that I've used in the background um, as I could and what I'm going to do is sort of decoupage up so that it's like that so the only thing that I need to do to do that actually I'm going to use glue gel because it's quicker than messing about with um, form pads and things when you're doing a video because you don't want to watch me messing about so right so find your orientation and then pop it on so you've got your dimension with the flowers okay then as always I'm going to edge with my black soot I just think that it frames your projects and it takes that white off the end as well okay okay so I'm going to bring in my mat and then I'm going to glue that down I 
think that might have been a better idea if I pop, pull this off and then I can mat it on without catching it. Let's just let that glue grab underneath. And there we go. Okay, and then pop your flowers back on. Honestly. Not doing very well today. Already caught my arm in the door. Dropped things on the floor. And I did check the calendar though to check it wasn't Friday the 13th, but it's, uh, it isn't. Right, there we go. And then I'm just going to do um, a simple flat mat. I'll use glue gel because it is quick. There you go. And then you can add sentiment um, if you want to. Um, or, you know, add to it with your white pen, your white gel pen, any of the um, mixed media stamps that you've got. And all I've done is I've used a, a top knot folder, a top folding note card. That is the word I want to find. Yeah, I'm not doing very well today, am I? <laughs> so there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that little tutorial. As I say, I will come back to you next week. Um, I've got the master art boards that I want to share with you. I also want to show you how to make your own background like this as well, which is, if you look, it's kind of like stickers, but I'm not going to say too much. I will wait till next week and I will share that with you. And using a brayer as well. So I haven't used uh, a brayer in any of the techniques as yet with the inks so that's something for you to look forward to um i think that's just it for now so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you'll have a go hit subscribe if you haven't already um if you do have a go at something please um put a picture of it in the comments just to you know let me know that um what i'm doing is inspiring you which um will make me very happy um and i'll see you very soon thank you very much Bye.